One was that phrase of when your head drops and needing the others to carry you through. And 9-11, 17 years ago today, was probably a day where a lot of people's heads dropped and a lot of people needed other people to carry them through um, 17 years ago. But on April 2nd, 2017, 17 months ago, something about the number 17, uh, we lost a member of our family, Ken. And that was a tough time for a lot of people. And a lot of people needed others to carry them through. We still do, every day. What we're trying to do with the Ken Trout Standards Awards, and I think this is the third time we're doing it, uh, is preserve Ken's legacy. We actually are trying to preserve his legacy in one other way as well, more recently, by getting all the tools that Ken developed, all the work that he did that he made so generously available to the world, and preserve that legacy as well, making those things available to the world. And so I'm, I'm proud to announce that we're able to do that as well, to help preserve his legacy. But Ken Trout Awards are our annual standards awards, and uh, some pretty special people have to get these, uh, maybe they have to be pretty special, uh, because it's, uh, it's something that you have to attend. So what are the criteria? It's got to be somebody who's made a significant impact in the development and their adoption standards. It's a generous source of knowledge, and the word generous is really important when, when you see the Hudson School of One Mission. Uh, has promoted the benefits of GS1 standards and participated in multiple groups, and I don't think any will wonder if those criteria are true for the two people we're allowed to introduce. We're announcing two winners as we normally do. Uh, this is one person from industry and one MO representative. And I have the pleasure of introducing the first one. Those of you that know me, I don't write things down normally, but I had to this time to get it right because there's just a lot of things to talk about. So, this person, I and mean, I think this is an absolutely universal thing to say, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll all agree. Anyone that's better has felt in any conversation you've had, whether it's the first one or the most recent one, like you're quite literally the only person in the world. Full attention, full engagement, it's almost impossible to even break eye contact. It's pretty disheartening. But it's wonderful. Uh, full and undivided attention. She gives incredibly generously, but also she can move seamlessly between really technical art discussions in a place like the architecture group into laughter and discussions about anything on pretty much any subject. It's, it's, it's a wild flexibility. Whether you're at dinner, in an industry working group, on top of that, she loves to dance. She's even in a band. Now it's a corporate band. And I understand they've been on a bit of a hiatus, but she's in a band. And if that wasn't enough, she actually holds a patent. And this is the reason I had to write this stuff down. Because it's a patent on how a Java Bean component can be automatically interpreted by agents in a multi-agent system. <laughs> That's pretty cool, because I don't even know what it means. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, no idea how all that gets done, uh, but probably through some training uh, for raising two teenage boys down the Now, Now, uh, put all that aside, I think the most important thing to share about this person is there's a word, you know we all have words in our local languages that don't translate. They just have a meaning, they can't translate them. There's one in the Swedish language, and it's really about an ethos, and it's called love. And uh, what it means, and what this person exudes every single day, is a uh, clear interest in advancing the good of the many. Fiercely loyal and caring, and always without fail, balance and moderation. Here's some other facts about that person. I'm really proud to introduce Sylvia.
is very touching since uh, I knew Cantrell and the mindset of him. Yeah, it brings tears. Um, I was also very touched by the speech. Thank you very much for all that. <laughs> um, I have the luck to work for a company, Rika, a Swedish retailer, that has a long G1 history. Um, our former CEO, Roland Tallinn, was part of forming the European G1 organization, EAM International. Um, he early on saw the necessity for collaboration across borders and across companies in achieving a global cost efficient supply chain standard. And we have benefited a lot from this, all of us. And this was back, when he started with this was back in the 70s, it was to face the IT revolution. Now we are facing a new revolution of the digital era. So now it's time to prioritize the time to meet together again as much as is necessary to collaborate on the solution we need to meet the customer-centric automation <coughs> digitalization. Thank you. Thank you.
support and my highest respect and appreciation. Um, so our uh, long-serving, senior, well-known personalities in the Chisholm community. And even though I was um, completely um, honored when I got the girls letter, I asked myself, why was I chosen? And um, so as uh, Marcus just pointed out, my spontaneous answer that came to mind was, maybe it's the first time in my life to have an adventure to be followed on an actually yeah. Um, so, and uh, Margaret just confirmed this, this sport. And, I mean, the, as many of us know, uh, one of the first recipients of this award, of the Cheese One Award, was, was Ken himself, the week before it. His own name was appended um, to it, rightfully appended to it. And um, I even remember when, when he got this prize. So, um, Miguel gave um, Lori uh, Winterfell's mother a kiss, turned on the stage, and said, okay, can I don't kiss you? <laughs> which, which I think I was quite comfortable with. <laughs> um, but I'd still like to take the opportunity to share my, my last personal account with him. It was in the course of a joint breakfast with him and Mark Harrison, which, which I termed blockchain breakfast in the invite. And we had a, a wonderful conversation which we shared uh, our thoughts in the sense of my first nonsense of sharing, uh, of using blockchain technology to share this and say uh, and for the last time, I was fortunate to experience this personality, including his profound knowledge, and his way, his ability to, to simplify even the most complex things, and also um, his, his dry humor. And this brought me to the question, if we have today the chance to, to get Ken and all the previous award winners to the stage, what would they all have in common? I think it's three things. First of all, a um, willingness to share the knowledge. Um, second, um, a, a, a strong commitment to achieve one. And uh, first, a lot of fun and passion in what we're doing. And, and this, this prize that I've got today um, will, will physically remind me to continue this tradition. And I promise I will. Thank you. Thank you all for all the hard work and for being here. That's it.